fuck are we recording? We all are, darling. Um, let me change a few things. Welcome back, stingers. Ooh, today we are gonna talk. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna talk about when a bond is broken, the feeling of someone detaching from you, fears, getting in the mirror, discovering who you are in the midst of detachment, what that means, how to look at yourself and what it reveals about you. Ooh, so deep, so deep, so deep. <sighs> Well, let's get it in. So we know that Scorpio is an eighth houser. We are the most bonding sign there is. Nobody, no one will ever, ever, ever make you feel as close, uninhibited, and stripped down like a Scorpio. No one. There's no such relationship because the other zodiac signs are not even capable of doing that. They're not even capable of doing it. They're not. And so Scorpio's being very serious in love and not serious like a Capricorn, like a drill sergeant. <sighs> I mean serious in the sense of the connection needs to be raw and it needs to be a hundred percent and a lot of you guys don't want to admit that you're not ready for that to be that open with yourself because it starts with self if you're not open with yourself you can't possibly be open with somebody else you can't not in the way that a scorpio needs you could be open with a gemini and be all talkative and air and and detached and bond on a mental level and be like oh my gosh we're so close <laughs> are you? But with the Scorpio, it has to touch your inner being. And what are we? We're just um, we're just energy in these bodies, right? In these bodies, we're not in our heads. We're not the brain. We are literally emotions and memories and nostalgia and feelings. That's what we are at the core, right? And a Scorpio needs to touch that. We need to touch that, right? Forget your damn mind, right? I need to, I need to get inside, inside your heart, inside your subconscious. I want all that shit, all of it. So, what do we do when a Scorpio detaches? When you get that closeness like you've never had before and they start pulling back and you get freaked out and you're like, oh my gosh, and your air supply is taken away. Because <laughs> that's what it feels like, doesn't it? Mm. And also, for my stingers, what, when this happens to you, you know, your moon sign will tell you what mode you, you go into, where you go into automatically, right? Are you the one who's trying to figure everything out and get all mental? Oh my gosh, what happened? And you're adding two plus two and you're coming up with five. You know, I'm a Scorpio moon, so I just, I just pause. I get all in my feelings, honey. And we go through it. We go through it. So... What does this detachment mean? What does it mean when a Scorpio detaches after being close? And maybe you haven't even gotten to the point where you're so, so close. It's very painful if you've gotten to the point where you have opened up completely and you're like already having sex and you're like sharing DNA and all that. And then they just like bounce like that's I know that's like horrifying. <laughs> that's horrifying. But I'm talking about like in the beginning stages where like you got a rhythm going. 
He had a little bit of a rhythm, right? And the Scorpio just kind of uproots. Like, what is that? What is that? What is that about? This will help a lot of you guys, even if you're Scorpios, dating Scorpios. What the hell is going on? And you're like, wait. Wait. Everything was fabulous yesterday. Now I haven't heard from you in two weeks. Ooh. So I talk about this. I've spoke about this in many videos. That there's levels to Scorpios. There's, there's, we just, we don't give you everything at once. And you gotta understand that. We're the most private sign. We're the sign of purge. What does purge do? It starts eliminating. It starts eliminating. That's Pluto. We start eliminating. And what does that mean? We're breaking stuff down. Eliminating little by little. What needs to go? What can I use? So you're in a relationship and we're going little by little, right? Even if it seems fast, we're going little by little. Okay. I've given this person a little bit of trust. They've proven that they can handle it. They haven't thrown anything back in my face. They're not being cold. See, we're water. Um, we're fixed water. So we move with you. You ever get in a pool or the ocean, right? And I'm rocking back and forth. Why? <laughs> this is just what I feel like doing right now. <laughs> you get in a pool of water and you just move through it. You see, you see it's not rigid. You don't have to fight through the water. It's just, we move with you. We feel what you're feeling. We start to mirror it back. If we feel hesitation, we stop. We say, oh, uh-oh, maybe it's a little too much. Let's chill a little bit. Let's chill a little bit. Sometimes you may not know within yourself that it's too much. You ever get so overwhelmed with somebody's emotions? Like there was a Scorpio many, many years ago. Seven planet stellium, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Pluto, all in the eighth house. He was the strongest Scorpio that I've met to date. Just pure Scorpio energy. And when he started to catch really strong feelings with me, he just came full motherfucking throttle. Like it was just, it was so much. And I wasn't really ready for what, what. This was, this was how long ago was this? 13 years ago. I wasn't, you know, it was too, it was too much for what I had then, what I was equipped for then. And I don't even think he was equipped for what I had then, right? And, but he came out swinging, right, emotionally. And he shocked himself because he didn't really want to. And so after that happened, he just had to go, he just had to leave for a month. <laughs> he was gone for like 30 days, honey, because he had to figure that shit out. And this is what we do. Like, sometimes we have to take a step back depending on how you are flowing with us, right? If you're an open person and you ready, you mentally ready, you emotionally ready, and you're like, what's good? And you comfortable in yourself? we'll feel the need to go all in like we'll go we'll feel comfortable going all in right and then we'll take a little pause and be like mm, are we are, do we really want you know what i'm saying do we really want to show these powers like superman did he really want to break down I remember when he showed lois who he really was right he didn't do that right away he had to say "Ooh, is she equipped to handle the fact that i am not mortal right He had to stop and say, well, what will she do when she finds out that I'm not from here? What is she going to do when she finds out that, you know, I can shoot laser from my eyes and that a bullet won't hurt me? Now what? What realm are we stepping in then? Right? So, like Superman, Scorpios, you know, we transform you. We do. We do. How close do you really want to get to us? 
do you want to be transformed? Do you want to go through that? A lot of you complain, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm drowning, I'm smothered, I'm caged. Wow. That's what our love does for you. And I thought, oh, we're going to keep it. Like, why, why am I going to share with you if you feel drowned and smothered? Are you kidding me? <laughs> So, take a step back. And it's not about you. It's about us figuring shit out. Like, mm, what is this about? How, how do I want to go? Do I want to do this? Do they want to do this, right? And so, what do you guys do within that period? They have gone away. You haven't heard from them. That bond you feel like is totally broken. And you can't even fucking breathe all day. You're thinking about where they at. You on their Instagram. You're on their Snapchat. You on TikTok. Or I don't even know these places. And you're all over the place. And you're wondering. You're feeling. You're you're like you don't even know what to do with yourself. You're asking people what's going on. You emailing me. Um. But in that moment, you're forgetting. What does this say about you? When things when things leave and shift. When the rug gets pulled from under your feet, and that means the pattern has stopped. When someone has a pattern of texting you, or calling you, good morning, love, I miss you, when I see you, and you loving that, and you got that energy, and one day it stops, and you freak out. What does it mean? I want you to get in the mirror when you freak out and say, what does that freak out say about you? Ooh, are you willing to do that? Hmm? Are you willing to put the spotlight on yourself and ask, wow, what does this say about me in this moment? I feel scared. Are you afraid that they're going to leave you? Are you in a scarcity mindset? Or, 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 are you comfortable and you're like, oh, I'm so fabulous. I'm so amazing. My love is so deep. Where are they going? They're going nowhere. Stay over there. Do whatever you need to do, baby. I'm right here. Are you? I listen. Put in the comments if you you've gotten to that point. Cause some some of these some of these disappearances may shock you guys. Some of you guys think you fly and you've done all the work. And when that rug gets pulled, you freeze and you freak out. Now this is what I love. I love the freeze and the freak out moments because they force me in the mirror and then. Me and Malika got to have a conversation and say, oh my gosh, this is a fear that I didn't know we still had. Now, this video has just begun. Now we've started. <laughs> this is the real start to the video. Because all your relationships are about you. They're not about the person, the Scorpio who disappears and left. It's about you when you're in that mirror and you're afraid. Or are you going to confront yourself? What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Why are we afraid? Are we scared we're going to lose a relationship? What makes us scared of someone leaving us? Why would someone leave us? Right? These are all the things that you have to ask yourself that I want you to talk about. I don't want you to talk about why, why did they ghost? Why are you afraid is the question. What's your fear? What's your fear? What's the worst thing that can happen if they never come back? You know, no one wants to go in. No one wants to go in. And this is the thing, the conversation I have with people all day long. It's such a blockage of why the spotlight is turned on someone else when it shouldn't be, when it shouldn't be. So I love moments like this. I love moments when I get afraid. I love moments when... A pattern is broken when somebody throws me off. It's an opportunity for me to talk with myself about my, develop, uh, my development because sometimes we think we are places and we're not there yet, you know? Um, sometimes we think we're flyer than we are, right? And so I deal with this too, guys. I'm no different. <laughs> Some of you guys think that, you know, I don't deal with these issues. Of course I do but I handle them different than you do. See, I go in the mirror and you go on social media. That's the difference. So what do we do? 
What do we do? The bond has been broken. A Scorpio has left the building. Why they left the building doesn't matter. Maybe you spooked them. Maybe they're spooked. Maybe they're thinking things are over. Maybe they're purging. Maybe they're getting ready for you. Maybe they want to be ready. And whatever they need to do, they need to do. What you don't want to do is disturb the peace. You don't want to disturb the peace. And you're going to be so tempted to get on that phone. Oh my gosh, just call and see if you're okay. They're okay. They're okay. They're more than okay. Are you kidding me? That's your excuse. You know they're okay. You just want to bust in there and try and mend what's going on. And that's not your job. It's not your job. I never break the spell. I never do it. I trust the universe 100% that I attract those who want to be with me, who want to be here. And I know how fly I am and how much work that I've done on myself. And I have to remind myself that like, oh, you know, if they want to dip out, thank you so much for whatever you gave me. I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate no hard feelings. Because I, I always get some out of a relationship anyway. Always. Are you kidding? <laughs> mm -mm. Honey, as much as I give, I take. And so, I always have to remind myself, after, after my freeze, I'm like, wait, what? Because I'm fly. Why would anyone leave? <laughs> and where are you going? <laughs> where could you go? <laughs> There's nothing like here. <laughs> and so I never break the peace. I never call. I don't text. I don't do shit. I don't do nothing. Let them have their moment. Let us Scorpios have our moment. Because trust me, we're behind the scenes gathering our information, purging or doing whatever we need to. And if we never come back, we never come back. We never come back. And that is a peace you have to make with yourself, guys. Yeah. <sighs> like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can book a basic chart reading, a love chart reading, a couple chart reading, a personal live stream and session, and your own personalized video. Also, I have amazing crash courses, healing from trauma, how to be fabulous. How to deal with Scorpio children, how to get back with a Scorpio after a breakup. Right? And that does not include calling them and are you okay? No, never do that, never. Um I have exclusive videos. I have some amazing things coming for the fall and holiday. I may do some giveaways again, right? The Scorpio season we're gonna go in self-esteem, how to rebuild, how to eradicate terrible behaviors and patterns that you guys have, and just how to be fly, how to be fly, you know, and it, it's every day. It's an everyday thing for me. I have created a character that I love, that I that I want to be around, that I want would want to date, and I work at it, you know. I'm the fly chick. I'm the chick who gets what she wants. I have amazing health. There's no days off of great health. Um, I have the physical body that I want. I have the mentality I want. Um, you know, I attract the people that I want because I've become that person. So I know anybody who comes in my energy field has to be fabulous. They have to be. <laughs> There's no other option. There's literally no other option. And this is an everyday practice, guys. Everyday practice. So. Pick your characters, and I know it's not loser or bum or the sad person. I know it's not. And uh, step into that suit and become, and it'll be second nature. It'll be second nature. And this is a lot of a lot of work, guys. You know, um, some things knock us down and and shake us, and they're supposed to. It shows you where you are. Sometimes you're not as far as you think you are. You know, I get tripped up sometimes as well. Not perfect over here, uh, but we working on it. We work on it every day. It is like a mission. <laughs> That's the difference. I do my homework, honey, and it shows. All right, guys, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Um, and of course, I'm on YouTube. I'll see you soon.